everyone, Charity Preston here from the Organized Classroom Vlog. I hope everyone's doing well, having a great week. Today's tip has to do a little bit with classroom management. I've actually seen this in a cafeteria at a school that I worked at, and it worked pretty well for there. And I thought, you know, I hate whenever I have the kids working in groups in their classroom, and they get so loud, you can't even hear yourself think. And then I thought, okay, well, a lot of a lot of teachers use the yakker trackers or whatever. They have lots of different ways that they get them to quiet down. And I know some other teachers just can't afford to buy something like that as well. And why penalize the group that is working quietly and using the appropriate indoor voice with their group as opposed to the group that's just being completely loud and just being crazy. So, um, I'm going to adapt something I had from the, the cafeteria idea into your classroom and it's really actually very simple. All you're going to need are three cups, a red one, a yellow one, and a green one. Super simple, easy to buy, I think I paid three dollars for each package of these cups and you can then have enough for each one of your groups in the classroom. Now you can even get fancy with them, which I didn't, but you could even write on them and write team A purple team, however you, whatever your team names are. You could create labels and slap some labels on there as well. You could even just write on the bottom, A, B, C, whatever group it is. Maybe it's team one. You put the number one at the top of it because I can see certain students switching them out with other tables possibly. You never know, but if you wanted to label them, you certainly could. It would be super simple to do so. All you're gonna do is stack your cups. Okay. You're going to put these right in the middle of your teams and everybody starts out on green. As you begin your group activity, if a group is just starting to get kind of loud, just walk over without a word and change their cup to yellow. So now they know they're, they're, they've gotten their warning. This is, this is what it is. And it's a visual and it's sitting right in the middle of the team and they can see it. And if they still just, you know, can't seem to pull it together, they go to red. And then red means your group time is over with. Get out your paper and pencil. You're going to do everything individual by yourself silently. And that's what that group has to do. I would hazard a guess to say after a couple times of getting to red, the peer pressure is going to kick in because not everybody's going to want to get out the paper and pencil. And once they get to this point, they're gonna say, okay guys, no, seriously, we don't wanna get to red because I hate getting out the paper and pencil and I hate having to write everything down, so let's just chill out. You know, and if one person's getting loud, the other, hopefully people in the group will quiet them down. And of course, you could even go the other way. Let's say they're already on yellow, they could go back to green. If you feel like they're doing a phenomenal job keeping up with what they need to, they could go right back to green. It's certainly up to you as to how that you wanna do it in your own classroom, but it's a way that you don't have to raise your voice. You literally silently walk over and change the cup. They're gonna see it, it's a visual. You don't need to yell. You don't need to remind them constantly, group five, how many times we have to go over this? Quiet down, use the appropriate voice. They're sitting right across from you. You don't need to scream. You don't need to say any of that. All you have to do is go over, and change the cup when you've had it that you've had it period that's it it's on red they're going to paper and pencil problem solved at that point so um, just kind of a fun little idea actually that I got from um, another place and I have seen it work very well in a cafeteria so you certainly if, if you have cafeteria duty I know how much fun that is um, and it just gets obnoxiously loud try to go with the tables and the, and the team approach there as well. Um, I just see this being more used in the classroom, uh, adapted over, so it could be used both places. All right, I hope you've enjoyed. As always, feel free if you have another great tip that you wanna share with us. I know I've gotten some in, I'm still working on the videos for those ones. Then feel free to send me um, a, a nice little email um, at theorganizedclassroomblog.com, right up at the top toolbar, you'll see an about contact tab, just click on it, go to my contact form, fill in um, a little ditty about something that you would like to see if you have something in particular, or if you have a great tip such as this, 
feel free to share it with the world and I'll make sure to, to throw your name into the video if you'd like. And uh, that's what we have for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll talk to you later. Bye.